Welcome back to yet another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, your host, and answering more of your viewer questions. We got a little backlog because we were out of commission for a little bit, but we're back and providing you answers to your questions on a regular basis again. Thanks for watching. Um, first question we got is from Julia. And Julia says, I've recently switched from Windows to Mac and don't regret it, but there is one exception. The way Mac OS X renders type on screen. To me, it looks very blurry and feels as if I wasn't wearing my glasses. When I start Windows with Boot Camp or Parallels, type looks sharp again. Well, there's a couple of things that could be causing this, uh, Julia. Um, one of the things that's common with LCD screens is if you change the resolution, that is how big things look on the screen, your menu bars, that sort of thing, it can throw off how crisp the image looks. It can look a little blurry. For instance, if you have a laptop, the normal resolution is probably like, you know, 1024 by 768, something like that, and then you scale it down to something like 800 by 600, it's going to make things look bigger, but they're going to look blurry because that's not the native resolution of LCD screens. This didn't used to be a problem with the CRT uh, computer monitors, the big, you know, cathode ray tube ones. Um, those you could change the resolution and it kept everything crisp. But the native resolution for LCDs is done differently. And that might be a very, uh, the very cause of your problem. Because your resolution may be set a little bit different within Windows when you go into parallels, that makes it uh, look better. If you go under the display menu or go into your system preferences and click on displays, you can see your settings. In this case, for this display that I've got right here, which is the Wacom tablet, the native resolution is actually the 1680 by 1050, not the 1360. We have it set at 1360 so that it matches with this TV monitor, so you guys can kind of see that. Um, but the one that I do here is actually a little bit different, and my screen does look a little bit blurry as a result, and actually a little bit warped uh, just slightly as well. So that might be an issue. Try playing with those a little bit. If you don't know how to get to them, it's in System Preferences, and it's under Displays. You click on that, and then you'll find your settings where you can adjust your resolutions and choose them. My guess is the highest one is probably going to be the native resolution for that computer display that you've got. So when you have like an iMac or a laptop. Um, and if not, then you need to find out what the natural display is. Play with those, see if you find one that looks crisper than another. Now there's another thing that you could also do. Under the appearance control panel, you click on that. There's a thing called font smoothing. One of the things that Apple does and I always hate this about PCs, is that text always looks a little jagged. It's very pixelated. Apple tries to smooth those things out a little bit. And the way they do that is, let's say I have a couple of pixels. If I was to zoom way in, and I have a couple of pixels, and the edge of my letter actually looks a little bit jagged. So what Apple does is they'll fill this little pixel, this little square, because pixels are these little squares that you know, have a color. They'll fill this one with, some, with gray, or an in-between between this, co this color and this color with the idea that it's going to smooth things out a little bit. And it usually looks great, unless you're trying to look at very small text. And that's why when you look in here, you can turn off text smoothing for font sizes 4 and smaller or 12 and smaller, whatever works for you. There's also font smoothing style, automatic, best for the main display, or you can choose whichever one that you want to use to make things look as best as possible. You might want to play with that and see if that makes a difference. There's a couple of things that can affect your display. Hopefully customizing that a little bit will help you out. Okay? So, let me know if that doesn't answer your question, Julia. Next question is from uh, Shintan, uh, who asks, I have a Mac Pro and absolutely love it. However, one thing that I wish I had is the remote desktop capability like Windows has. Is there anything for Mac that will let me access my Mac desktop remotely? Absolutely. What I want to point out to you, and we mentioned this in a recent episode, but you must have missed that one, is, uh, uh, chicken of the VNC source for it. It's a free open source program. And with this one, you can actually remote de remote connect to other computers with this. It's download, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, you can control your Mac remotely with that way. You do have to make sure that in your system preferences that you do turn on sharing and remote management. And you have to make sure that's turned on. And you can choose the settings you want them to do. But one of the things you want to do is computer settings. You have to make sure that VNC viewers may control with screen with a password and type that in. Type, put in a password. And that's how they'll actually connect to be able to control the screen. 
um, be able to control your Mac remotely. But I'm going to click cancel on that and make sure that's turned off. Okay, so close out on that. But that's a program that you can do to c c control your Mac remotely. All right, hopefully that answers your question. Please send us your questions at ask the techies, uh, questions at askthetechies.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.